Hi, my name is Adrian Ho from SMA Australia. According to the recent guideline document released by the two Australian utilities, solar systems installed in the grid may be required to have reactive power control or zero export to the grid. This YouTube clip will address this issue. Depending on the utility requirement, active power limitation or zero export is not necessary, providing the inverter has reactive power control capability. I will show you the setting in Sunny Explorer later in the clip. If your utility requires your system to be on zero export, you can use SMA inverters, each equipped with a power control module, together with a third-party programmable logic controller, known as PLC. Please note that each PLC signal can support up to five inverters. I will now show you how to install the power control module into the inverter. Turn off the inverter properly and remove the bottom lid. Flip up the display board. Now you can fit in the power control module. Make sure to tighten it up to the chassis. Now you can connect the signal cable into it. Make sure to tighten up the gland as well. You can use the other connector to connect to the other inverters. Once that is all done, flip down the display board, tighten up the display screen, and you can connect the cable. You can now close the inverter and I will show you the settings in Sunny Explorer. The following is to demonstrate the settings for reactive power control and the power control module settings using Sunny Explorer via Bluetooth. Start off the inverters first and then load Sunny Explorer. Detect as a new plan. Communication via Bluetooth. I have got two inverters set up for this demonstration, a TriPower and a Sunnyboy SBTL-21, both on NetID B. Log in as an installer and put in the appropriate password for the system. On the left hand side, you will be able to see the inverters that are connected in the same NetID. If you just want to change this particular inverter, you can highlight that one and then click on settings. It will only change the settings for this inverter. However, if you have multiple inverters in the system, you can simplify the process by selecting the name in here, which is my PV plant 46, and then click on settings. This settings will then apply to all the inverters in that same net ID. I will now demonstrate the settings for reactive power control. Locate equipment and device control system, expand the tab, scroll down to the very bottom, Select Edit, scroll back up until you can find Configuration of Static Voltage Stabilization. If the utility grid requires your system to be on a fixed power factor setting for the operating mode of static voltage stabilization, you'll be putting it on Cost Fee Direct Specific. Underneath here where you can see Configuration of Cost Fee Direct Specification, if the utility grid specifies your system needs to be on 0.9 leading power factor, you will be putting 0.9 over excited. If it's 0.8 lagging power factor, it will be 0.8 under excited. Press save and then the settings will apply to all the inverters in the system. I will now show you the settings for the power control module. Select Equipment and Device Control System. Scroll down to the very bottom of the screen. Select Edit. In here for Power Control Module, it says Off. If you have it connected to the PLC, set it to Active Power Limitation or Remote Shutdown. Here we have Active Power Limitation. Press on Save. After that, select Device tab. Scroll to the very bottom to Edit. 
In here, for active power limitations, you have the 16 different steps to ramp up or ramp down. You will need to put these values exactly the same as the PLC settings. When this is all done, you can then save it. When the PLC sends digital signals into the power control module, the inverters would then behave the same. Please remember that SMA currently provides an interface module to read the PLC signal. It is up to the installer or designer of the system to find a compatible third-party PLC for the system. My name is Adrian Ho from SMA Australia and I will see you next time.